This is Dong Nai Radio and Television Station. Welcome to the news today. According to the Ministry of Industry and Trade, this year's National E-Commerce Week will start from November 27th to December 3rd. In addition, the 60-hour Vietnam Online Shopping Day program, Online Friday 2023, starts from the midnight of December 1st and lasts until 12 p.m. on December 3rd. There are special offer at this event. The consumers will experience an attractive digital shopping space. Online Friday has been held nine times, and this year it is 10 years. Promising will be a year-end supercell bomb. The Vietnam E-Commerce and Digital Economy Agency from the Ministry of Industry and Trade said that in 2014, there were only 1,000 businesses and more than 3,220 promotional products participating. To date, there has been three times the number of businesses and 100 times the number of discount products sent to participate in the program. Currently, up to 60% of online shopping consumers among the top people with financial capacity spending the most, up to 30% use online shopping mainly and contribute greatly to Vietnam's digital economy. According to a survey by the Vietnam Real Estate Brokers Association, currently real estate businesses have difficulty assessing credit loans and they are the most unable to mobilize corporate bond capital and other capital sources to implement projects. The paradox is that although banks continuously reduce interest rates, the demand for home loans does not increase because the customers still lack confidence in the market and have the mentality of waiting for how prices to drop even lower. Capital available but difficult to disperse is a current reality in the real estate sector. The referential Reddit pockets worth 120,000 billion VND for investors and buyers of social housing and worker housing is an example. Although the interest rate is 1.5 to 2 percent lower than the average lending interest rate of the four state owned commercial banks, up to now, based on the list of quality projects of 23 provinces and cities, the Bank for Investment and Development of Vietnam, BIDV, and the Vietnam Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, Ari Bank, recently signed a credit contract with a total commitment amount of more than 1,000 billion VND for three projects. The Ministry of Information and Communications has just proposed to strengthen information and propaganda work on program channels about the hotline to receive and process urgent information. The proposal was sent to the voice of Vietnam, Vietnam Television, VTC Digital Television Station, radio and television stations of provinces and transually run cities and television operating units. In audition, the Ministry of Public Security have set up a hotline. This hotline will promptly precise and process urgent information about terrorist financing. Specifically, the receiving forceful points include the contract address, 15 Trang Bình Trọng, Hoàng Kim District, Hanoi, and hotline phone number 0967-910-067 and 069-234-126-9. All citizens can report to the hotline on reports about security, other and urgent information about terrorist financing. On November 25th, North Korea says that leader Kim examines photos of several U.S. and South Korean military base. North Koreans successfully launched a military reconnaissance satellite into orbit on November 21st. Just a few hours after the launch, Pyongyang announced that leader Kim Jong-un had seen the photos of U.S. military base in Guam taken by their boat satellites. According to the Korean Central News Agency, KCNA, yesterday Mr. Kim checked photos taken when the satellite flew over Hawaii at about 5 a.m., including the photos of the naval base in Pearl, in Harbor.
Hikam Air Force Base, Honolulu. Mr. Kim also reviewed the photos of the Korean Busan port taken around 10 a.m. yesterday. North Korea has claimed that these photos include the photos of the U.S. nuclear power aircraft carrier USS Carl Vincent. Mr. Kim reviewed satellite images of the key target areas in the South Korea, including the capital Seoul and city with U.S. military base. China on November 25th accused the U.S. missile destroyer Harper of illegally entering China territorial waters in the Shisha Islands without China's approval. According to a post on the WeChat social network account of the Southern Theater Command, the Chinese military deployed its Navy and Air Force to track, monitor and warm the U.S. ship after detection. China says that the incident proved that the U.S. is the one that creating security risks in the East Sea. China a few days earlier accused the Philippines of recruiting foreign forces to patrol the East Sea, referring to the joint patrols between the Philippines and the U.S. on November 21st. Earlier this month, the U.S. and China held talks related to the maritime issues, including disputes in the East Sea. The U.S. side has emphasized its concern about the China dangerous and illegal action in these oceans. This is the end of our news today. Thank you for watching. Have a good time.